Okay, so now that you've created your black and white using one of the methods discussed earlier, um, let's talk about creating a black and white with a duotone. So what is a duotone? duotone? Duotone basically means that you are adding a little bit of a color tone to your grayscale image, to your black and white tonality. Um, so you can make your uh, duotone kind of a golden black and white or a slight sepia black and white or a selenium black and white which is kind of more of a purple color um, or cyanotype which is more of a bluish tone um, so let's see how we're going to do that in using Lightroom Lightroom version uh, classic 10 um, we now have something <clears throat> that is called color grading so here's our color grading panel and the color grading panel notice it's divided into uh, the three tonal ranges so we have the shadows we have the midtones we have the highlights all three together now we can also just view the shadows by themselves or the midtones by themselves or the highlights by themselves or you have the last option which is kind of global so it's 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 everything inside the color wheel i personally don't like to use the global so i will use the <clears throat> um i normally use the three color wheel uh, the the um three color wheel option uh but for this demonstration i'll just demonstrate demonstrate it on the individual uh, shadows, midtones, and highlights. I think it'll be easier for you guys to see. So I'm looking at this image and I would like to create a warm tone duotone or maybe slightly golden duotone. So I'll start out with my shadows. You don't have to start out with the shadows. You can start out with the highlights as well or midtones. It's up to you. But I'll go ahead and start out with the shadows. I'll click right in the middle here. In the middle, there's no tone, but as I drag, as I drag the wheel, the circle outside, and as I, as I drag all the way to the edge of the color wheel, the color will be much more intense. So I don't want my 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 uh, shadows to be quite as warm. So maybe I'll leave them about here. Now notice as I move this, notice the sliders that are moving underneath my hue my saturation and so on so uh, this will move along with it it's the same as moving these sliders okay um, i'll go ahead and use the yellow slider so i'm going to make it a little bit warmer now if you hold your shift key if you hold the shift key you get this little uh line so then it won't allow you to move anywhere except around the circle. So you can choose your opposite colors. So let's say I will leave it about there. Now, if I want the density to be darker in the shadows, then I can take the luminance and darken. And what I'm darkening is, is just the shadows. So I will actually darken it a little bit. I like this contrast level. <clears throat> Now we also have blending. So blending basically means that you are going to, um, I'm holding the, actually, okay, if I hold the Option or Alt key and click on the blending, as I move the blend all the way to the right, you see all the golden colors pop up. So it's basically showing me what color I'm in the blend mode of. Um, or I can go the opposite way and I will be removing that color. So that is the blend between um, <clears throat> the tonality of the color, either uh, very little of it or expand it out more into the highlight. So either just working just the shadows or expand it out into the highlights. So I don't really want to expand it to the highlights because I'm just working in the shadows. So I'll keep it to the shadow right there. Now balancing means I can take away this effect completely to the right or I can bring this effect much stronger to the left. So um, it's kind of up to you 
which way you want to go with that as well to get the look that you're going for i'm gonna actually just leave it balanced about there so i got warmer tone shadows i'll switch to the highlights i'm gonna switch to the highlights and then i'll approach the midtones so the highlights what are the highlights well the highlights are this glowy sky on the horizon the highlights are on the building where the sun is hitting it so i want the highlights to be quite warm as well so here we go more towards the yellows not greens but more yellows maybe just about there and i could lighten those highlights or i can darken those highlights with the luminance and again do the same thing with the blend which i'm not going to do i'm going to leave it the way it is and uh, notice that the blend stays throughout the um, shadows midtones and highlights and now i'm in the midtones and now i'll warm up my midtones okay so this is kind of a warm tone black and white i'll go ahead and create another virtual copy and create another duotone and this time i'm going to go into the blues so i'll create a virtual copy notice what happens with the virtual copy is the fact that i'm still in the brown tones so i'm just going to work from these brown tones and then this time around i'll go into the three circles okay and i'm going to reset them so i'm going to double click double click on each of the colors and i can reset them and i'm going to go towards the blues so i'm going to add a little bit of blue holding the shift key i can go up and down on the line and i'll go towards the blues um, on the highlights maybe slightly more cyan kind of more towards the blue and i do want so the the slider that's right underneath the circle is the luminance so i can darken the shadows which i kind of like i will lighten the highlights and the midtones maybe just about there the blend mode don't want it to be too too blue so i'm going to actually pull back a little bit so here's my more of a bluish tone okay the next one will be i will create kind of a blue yellow tone a split tone what we call is a split tone so i will create another virtual copy and it'll be up to you to decide what kind of duotone you wish to create for your own images if i double click on the word adjust all the way on top notice how it reset the whole thing which is a quicker way to go okay so this time around i'm going to make my yellow my highlights more of a warmer tone kind of a yellow orangey color and my shadows more of a blue tone about there i'm going to darken my shadow and that's pretty dramatic i don't like to go for too dramatic so i'm going to just you see the balance in the balance here you can see it really well if i go to the balance towards the yellows it's going to bring in everything more sepia more yellow or if i go towards the blue everything's going to go blue so this is the balancing how much highlight yellow compared to the um, shadow blue that you wish to kind of balance out if that makes any sense so this is a split tone we got yellow highlights we got blue shadows let's do kind of a traditional selenium tone so selenium tone will be more of a purple tone so what is purple purple is blue and red so let's go towards more of selenium tone so in the shadows notice i'm selecting more of a purpley color 
just a little bit on the highlights though not a whole lot i'm actually going to go a little bit warmer in the highlights there we go about there and a little bit of a purple tone in the mid-tones just very slight i went really slight and again i'm going to darken my shadows maybe lighten my mid-tones okay let's see what we've come up with using the color grading technique to create our duotone looks so i was holding the shift key i was able to select all four i'm going to press on the letter n n is in nancy i can see all four on the screen if i press on the tab key i can hide my slider my um, panels on the right and left if i press on the l key i will hide or dim the lights rather and if i press on the l key again completely dim the lights and here is our duotone we have a warm sepia-ish looking we have a blue tone on the right and we have more selenium tone on the bottom right and then we have more of a split tone on the bottom left